Question number 17 is to find derivatives of natural logarithmic functions. Uh, it's just not log functions in this, to be honest. You have exponential functions as well. Now, let's look into the problems. Here, before we go into the problems, let's look into the formulas, the three important formulas. It's very important to differentiate among these two. Okay, this and this. Many times, you might get confused with this. Now, it's very easy to recognize e to the power x is exponential function. So if this is given, it's the same thing. Now, what if it is e to the power 2x cubed? What happens now? This will be the same thing, e to the power x cubed, but then we do the chain rule. The outer function here is e, right? This is done. Now, solve this one. That would be derivative of that will be 3 comes down with 2. It will be 6x squared. So this would be the answer. Very important to remember to apply the chain rule. This over here in this case, what does this a mean? a is any constant number. So say, for example, it's greater than 0. Say, if you have 0, it doesn't make sense, right? It will be 0 itself. And you can't have uh, anything, sorry, the reason why it's zero, because see, ln over here is a. What is the domain of ln? You can't have zero or any negative numbers over here. It can't be less than zero. It's not possible. X can't be less than zero. This is wrong. So that's why it should be any positive number, only in cases like, say, 2 to the power x. In this case, you have to write the derivation is 2 to the power x, then ln, natural logarithm, the b is not this x. The base that is ln of 2. This is the reason. If it was x over here, then it doesn't matter. It can be any number over here, a. Because you can have a negative number, it's fine. But remember, since this constant is written, you cannot have negative or zero numbers. So if you have, say, for example, 2, 5, x to the power 4. What happens now? Look at the base. Base is a constant, a number which is greater than 0, and this is the power x. So the derivative would be the same thing first, 2, 5, x to the power 4, then ln of 2. This is done. But we have not dealt, see, the outer function is done now. This is the outer function, right? This is done. Now you have to deal with the x, this function. The chain rule applies. Multiply it with the derivative of 5x to the power 4, that will be 20x to the power 3. So this would be the final answer. So this is what we need to uh, employ. Now let's do the problems in this. Here we have, say, 1 thirds raised to the power x squared. It's the first part. Remember the formula for ax ln a. Okay, so derivation of this is, this is the answer. You must write d by dx, but I'm just written dash. This is the derivative formula. So here we have one thirds, sorry, not x, one thirds raised to the power x squared. So write it as it is, see? One thirds x to the power two, ln of one thirds. But don't forget the chain rule because this is, if this was x, it would have just been one. So we don't write it, but it's not x, it's x squared. It becomes two x. What about this one here? Same thing. Uh, here, just important thing is, here it is what? Negative x. Keep it up only. Don't go to change that. Just solve it like this. Minus x squared into ln 4. This is the first part. Now, solve the upper, uh, the other function. It will be minus 2x to the power 1. So this would be the answer. So this is how we easily solve these problems, okay? Now, remember, don't go to think, oh, should I take it down or should I take the new? No, just don't. Because it should be as it is, but make sure here what is done, the negative sign remains. First, solve this as it is and then multiply it with the derivation of above. I just realized that over here it's uh, rearranged and written, but the answer is same, okay? Answer does not change here. And I am just checking out this. Okay, now what is done here? Why is it changed? If you recall the properties of log. Now, this is the correct answer. Let me just go back. This is the correct answer, okay? But now you can simplify 
natural log 1 by thirds. I'll just do this. This other parts are, are correct. What about this? Now, whenever there's division, this is equal to ln 1, the upper function, minus ln, the lower function. Okay? Now, what is ln 1? If you recall, it's 0, isn't it? Now, ln this one is 0 minus ln 3. Now, this is the part so weird. This, when you simplify it, you will get minus that minus sign and ln 3. So, that is the thing. Uh, then other things are just rewritten. So, the minus sign is written. But I'm not sure how it will be asked in the exam. Just remember here, I will, I will prove it in calculator as well once again. Get your calculators out. What you need to do is, see this ln one third what is the answer this so much right now if you put lan three uh, three what's the answer only the minus sign is missing isn't it so that's why if you apply the properties of lan that is lan one see lan three will be equal to lan one it's zero minus lan three this is the thing. We don't write it in terms of number. We just write this part because this is zero. You're remaining. So the minus sign sustains. That's the reason. And even over here, you can apply the calculator method. Now, say, for example, over here. Now, we got this answer. But in case you want to do the calculator method, you can do shift, shift and this dy by dx. 4 to the power minus alpha x squared. What is x? You just take a value, say, 2. Now the answer is negative 0 0.02166 uh, and so on. Now here, just substitute 2 over here and solve it. Minus 2 into 2 into 4 to the power. What is, oh, what happened? Did I, I'll just take this. What is the x value we considered? It will be 2 over here as well. Multiplied with natural logarithm of 4. Close the bracket. The answer is the same thing. If you just go back a few seconds in the video, you will see it's the same thing. I remember the answer. So this is how easily you can check your all the answers. And since this is an MCQ still 14th question, MCQ part, we can use the calculator method. Please do try to solve these problems by yourselves and you can easily uh, understand better. Now, what about the second part over here? See, this one is easy. Uh, Okay, let's let's solve this because it's a chain rule. Okay, there is complication in chain rules. Let's do it now. First, this resembles a to the power x. So I will write this as it is e to the power x multiplied by ln of 2. Okay, now whatever is to the power, derive that. It is e to the power x. That's a this answer. Uh, I think so. There is no simplification. Let's check. Yeah, that's the answer, but it's just not written in this order, but this order is much easier to understand. Now, what about this one? See, there is no other way to solve this rather than using the quotient rule, u by v. That is, u dash v minus u v dash divided by v square, right? So, this denominator will be 2x the whole square. What about the de uh, derivation of e to the power x? It's the same thing, multiplied with 2 to the power x minus now, leave this term as it is, e to the power x multiplied with derivation of this is 2 to the power x into ln of 2. So, this would be the answer. Now, we can simplify further by taking these two common out. I'm not sure whether it's done or no. Let me just do it. These two terms and these two terms are same, right? You can take e to the power x, 2 to the power x common out, 1 minus ln of 2 divided by this is squared. See, now this square means, you can cancel it, I guess. This means it's 2 to the power x multiplied by 2 to the power x. Why I'm writing like this instead of writing e to the power 2x, I can cancel this out. So you simplified, right? The final answer would be this much ln 2, 2 to the power x. Uh, now let's just see. Uh, okay, they have... Yes, they have done the simplification. I was not thinking they'll do it. But yeah, they have done the simplification. You can see the final answer is what we got over here. But by simplifying, you know, 
see this is split this cancels this is uh, distributive property is done that's how you can try this directly by calculator and you will get the answer no problem i will just show you because there is e in this let us use our calculators take out your calculators now here let's type this shift dy by dx and it is e to the power is by shift and this symbol power x divided by 2 to the power x share alpha and x now let's take x value of 2 okay i know it's defined at e to the power 2 so that's why i have took 2 or 1.5 any of these values let me just write it down it's very i might forget this value 5 6 6 8 3 8 now what you do is see for the four options okay now this is the answer we know but you will have other options as well. All you need to do is instead of x, put the value which we consider. We have considered 2. So let's solve it. Multiply it with 1 minus ln 2. Close the brackets. 2 to the power 2. The answer is exactly the same. Any other answer which is incorrect will not give you the same answer what you derived in your calculator. It will be different. So this is the best and the easy method to solve derivatives. Uh, to check your answers okay now same thing over here please do solve by yourselves the detailed solution is available uh, this is the equation of the tangent line we have done this uh, in the last uh, problem as well remember the equation of tangent line is given as y equals m into x minus a plus f of a over here it's given as x so i won't write a it depends on what is given I'll write it as x naught, okay? x naught plus y naught. Now, how do you find y naught? Just substitute this in the given function over here. So, how do we solve this exactly? This is again the same thing. We can uh, solve it in different ways. Calculate a method or use the formula a to the power x ln a. See over here. No, this is finding f of a. This is the derivative f prime or dash okay anything you can call now this is 3 power x to the power e ln 3 then do the derivation of this x to the power e now what is x to the power e exactly this is power rule don't get confused because e is what e is just a number 2.71718198 it just keeps on going okay so here the power comes down, e comes down, x to the power e minus 1. This is what happens when you solve this power rule. So you can see th this is a, that is 3xe into ln 3 multiplied by this term 3xe power minus 1. Okay. Now then you can easily solve it up. Now this is the derivative, right? But since we have been given the x value what is the x value it's x naught is equal to one directly use calculator using calculator saves a lot of time so what we do is we will just press shift and dy by dx here it is three to the power x to the power e that is shift and this symbol now we are e to the power one or you can use alpha and this okay or you can press shift and e power one now what is the x value it's one the derivative means the slope of the tangent line. So I'm going to take this value over here as m. Now, sadly, we will get a, a number like a numerical number, decimal number, 8.959. But in your final answer, this won't be there. It will be in terms of lan or something like that. We will see in a while. Now, what next? What other things we need? Y is unknown itself. Y is y. X minus what is x naught given as 1 plus what is y naught substitute this value over here 3 power 1 to the power e that is 3 to the power e one second um okay i just i just realized what it is look here it is 3 let me write it 3 I, this is wrong what I have written. Why? Because I took 3 to the power 1 first. No, you should take 3 to the power 1 to the power e, isn't it? It's 3 raised to the power 1 raised to the power e. What is anything raised to the power 1 raised to the power anything? 
it's one raise one to the power anything in calculator you will just get one or it'll be 10 or 100 or million or anything 999 you'll just get one so this is basically three to the power one because one this power dissolves over here and now that is equal to three so why not is three this is your final answer so here we have got 8.959 but in your uh, option see that is not there this is there don't worry put this in calculator see other things are all correct that's fine what you do is put 3 land 3 multiplied by a in calculator and let's see what happens here now 3 land 3 multiplied with e you can write this e and to the power 1 or i'll find this symbol gives you that it's 8.959 and it goes on so this is how we can easily solve it okay because you have to write the slope of the tangent line, you must remember this formula and substitute them accordingly. And uh, over here again, you got some logarithm. Okay, now we have to use logarithmic. Looking at this problem, I realized there is no way you can solve x to the power sine x. If it was e x or something, you can try. But how would you solve this? Take natural logarithm on both the sides. See, it's uh, I'll do it in the right side over here. Now, this is the actual method you might have remembered. There are different methods as well. But now, this given function, right, f of x, or you can take it as y, is x sine x. Taking log on both the sides, you're taking natural logarithm, ln, ln on both the sides, okay? What happens when you take natural logarithm on both the sides? Here, it remains like this only, f of x. That is equal to what happens here is the power comes down. The rule of natural log is if you have 3 power squared, this is equal to 2 ln 3. Whatever is the power comes uh, becomes the coefficient of natural log. So here the power is sine x becomes the coefficient of natural log x. Now what next? How would you solve it? What we would do next is basically derive the both the sides. You just derive on both the sides over here. You put d by dx and try deriving this one and derive d by dx this one over here. Now here there is product rule. I'll do the right side first. It is u dash v plus u v dash. So what happens over here is derive sine x. It will be positive cos x into ln x plus sine x remains as it is. Sine x multiplied by what is the derivation of ln x? This is 1 by x divided by, oh sorry, that's it. This is product rule, not quotient rule. I thought divided by v ln x squared. No, it's wrong. It's quotient, uh, product, only so much. But don't forget the left-hand side. Now, what we do is, what is the derivation of uh, ln, ln x? It is 1 by x, right? But now, what is the derivation of ln x squared? It would be 1 by x x square into 2x chain rule right now what about this function here this is basically like l and y like implicit function we know that whenever we do that it'll be y into y derivative y dash implicit functions right chain rule this one by y multiplied by the derivative of y see if it was x squared we derive it right that's how so here what basically happens is ln sorry ln is gone when you derive okay, this was y dash it will be 1 by f of x multiplied by f dash of x this is the actual answer this is the thing now here we want derivation derivation means derivative f dash f prime so all you do is everything else take it to the other side only keep f dash of x on one side this i'll leave over here f dash of x equals now this over here see I, I can see in the uh, left side answer they have taken common term what they have done is instead of writing only x over here they have taken it whole lcm multiply x over here x multiply x over here divide by x so you can have the common term here there is x right so basically it is x times cos x ln x plus sin x divided by x entirely now what next 
here we have x sin x that's it uh, oh sorry i forgot to tell y x sin x what is f of x you take it over here it is not uh, I, I just saw the left side and wrote it by mistakely uh, f of x why because it's in the denominator goes to the numerator now what is f of x f of x is the given question sorry this one we are solving it is x sin x so that's why we write instead of f of x x sin x and then this term over here can be written the same thing so this is how we basically solve a problem using logarithm we have to take log on both the sides because we cannot solve x to the power sin x look e is uh, we we did power rule for e y x to the power e why did we do power rule e comes down x to the power e minus 1 this is a value of 2.7 and so on the x value whatever is raised the power must be greater than 0 isn't it it must be greater than 0 or, or it's greater than 1 also because 1 also it doesn't make sense to have that so that is the reason it should be a number only you can't take any term like this trigonometric function no we don't have the rule for that it's clearly mentioned in the power rule it should be a number i think so it's greater than uh, greater than 1 the number must be greater than 1 but we use the uh, uh, you know negative exponents also we translated okay don't worry we can use the same thing but not other than numbers so th this is not a number that's why now here this is a polynomial function that's why we have to do the same method what we did just now and then you can get the answer so this is how we solve it uh, here there are more questions please employ the same method the same thing over here uh, what, what do you do take ln on both the sides you can see over here that this power comes down x ln sin x left side it's x f of x ln but now derive this it will be 1 by f of x multiplied by f dash of x they write it together as f dash of x by f of x in fact when you derive ln f of x it will be ln uh, sorry 1 by f of x then multiplied with the derivative of this that will be up right in the numerator so we write it like this and now when you derive over here you must use the product rule and solve it so the product is one is term is x and one more term is ln x and then you easily solve it and rearrange it or even over here you can use the calculate method just make it to radian mode and solve assume x anything any value write it down and then put the same value of x say if i have chosen x as 2 when deriving in the calculator use the x value as 2 over here so this is the thing please do solve go through these problems very straightforward do solve them by yourselves now even over here it's the same thing you know this is the same concept it's just that there are terms as long as you know each term thoroughly then it is very easy to solve any of this if you're still getting confused in this even though you understood it but you can't get it right then i would suggest you to do the calculator method okay here it is just that uh, you need to take ln x this comes over here the derivative of square root is 1 by 2 root x then this is product rule over here and then this is rearranging this denominator comes to the other side so this is how we basically solve the topic number 14 please be thorough with the rules understand what function it is recognize the function and then apply the formulas accordingly that's it for this topic